everybody welcome back to the channel um i have blue here with us <laughs> it's a little monster right now but i'm just gonna go over the items that we purchased for blue uh when he came home at 12 weeks and until now which is at 16 weeks and things we recommend um for your frenchie or for your puppy um so i will be rating the items uh from a scale of one through ten ten being the best and one being I don't recommend it um, and this is just my personal experience what's worked for me and for blue um, so please don't take offense to anything if you like the, these products um, that I may not like and I will be linking everything down below um, so you guys have everything but it's kind of hard for me to show you with this little rascal on my lap where do we start blue where do we start so I will be walking you over to the other house, other part of the house and showing you the crate that I have as well as the playpen I and mean, how that all works. So this is the playpen we got blue. Um, I will link it down below. It's very configurable. So initially we had it kind of in a different shape than this, but he was really taking advantage of it and peeing inside there the more space that we gave him. So we actually shrunk it down. And the way it works is that you can just easily pull this out and you can like just take apart the gates that way and reconfigure to the shape or size that you or your pet would like. Um, this is what works for us right now. So Blue has been doing a little bit better in his playpen uh, more recently. So we gave him more space, but initially we had it really shrunk down just because he was peeing everywhere. But he seems to really like it. It comes with this little gate right here. So he now knows to kind of knock on that if he needs to go potty. I think it comes with eight panels. So one panel is that, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and we took out the two that go back there. This is also the crate we used by Diggs, and it's called the Revel Crate, R-E-V-O-L. I will have a link in the description to this website that you can use as well as a code for I believe $25 off of your purchase of $150 or more. I highly recommend this crate. This is what I purchased for Blue ever since he came here. Um, it comes with kind of a puppy divider so you don't need to give him all that space. And if you think about it, as a human, you don't want to move homes all the time. You want to be stay put, you want to be comfortable. Same thing goes with puppies. They just want to be comfortable. So I really recommend this one. So it closes like this. It opens like this. Um, there's the puppy divider. There's all that space. It also comes with a tray down below that you can pull and kind of clean if in case they have accidents. But Blue hasn't had any um, and they don't tend to have accidents where they sleep, which is amazing. Also, there's a little handle, so I use this whenever I take him outside in the car. It's been really, really helpful because he really feels comfortable in it. And also, you can twist these little things outside, and it opens up like this. So in case you want to feed him little treats in here or you want to give him something, a little kiss, a little, you know, touch... You can definitely do that with this divider over here. You can swivel and you can lock this if the puppy divider is not in there. There's another side to it right here. So if your dog wants to kind of enter in this way, he definitely can, but you will not be able to do that if there's a puppy divider in there. So highly recommend this one. Blue loves this crate. Really happy to be partnering with Diggs, and I will again have that link in the description as well as that code that you can use um, to get $25 off your order of $150 or more. Really recommend this one. We also got him a little food and water bowl right here. Again, I will link this down below. Um, and it comes with two little bowls, and it's really good because it's skid free. If your puppy is a really fast eater, they will probably need a skid free water and food bowl. So it doesn't kind of spill everywhere. Um, so really, really like this one. This is what his area looks like. I think he really likes it. So I guess I will take you guys through um, kind of food items. So to start, um, we got him this Probiotic Max. So this is the Dogzymes Canine Supplements. And as you can see, he goes crazy over this stuff. He knows it's good for him. So it's the Dogzymes Canine Supplements Probiotic Max Live Beneficial 
prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes. Um, this is amazing. I put usually one eighth of a teaspoon in his food bowl every morning, just once a day, and he seems to really love it, and it's good for his gut flora. So I really recommend this. I would give this a 10. Next, we also got him, he also loves this one, the Canine Complete Holistic Pet Organics. So this is a Holistic Pet Organics Canine Complete Daily All-in-One. So this is different than the probiotic one um, because it has fiber, it has vitamins, minerals, prebiotics, probiotics, enzymes, fatty acids, and antioxidants. So this one is amazing if you want like an all-in-one kind of supplement. Blue sit. Good boy. I would give that one also a 10. Um, they both, you know, go hand in hand and I really, really like them. Huh, blue. So the next one is the oatmeal and aloe shampoo. Um, I love this product. So I, I searched for shampoos for days on the webs on websites. Um, this one seems to just be really, really, really popular for puppies and just, um, Frenchies that have sensitive skin, you don't want to really irritate the areas. Um, and it also says helps relieve itching and dry skin, which is exactly what this little boy has. So would give this a 10 out of 10. Next, I also have a couple other shampoos. This one is also the Earth Bath. It's the hypoallergenic shampoo, fragrance free uh, for sensitive skin and allergy. This one I really like, um, but uh, it, it's really good for puppies, I think, especially for dogs that have sensitive skin. Again, I have a French Bulldog. He is gonna need something like this. So I think both in combination, I would give it a 10. This by itself, I would give this an 8.5 just because it seems to kind of itch his skin just a little bit when it's on. He seems to want it off. Um, so I'm not sure if that's just him hating bats or if it's, you know, this product. I'm not sure, but I would give this an 8.5. It's still really, really good. Next on that list of shampoos, we got him the GNC Pets Medicated Plus Antibacterial and Antifungal Shampoo in the scent Lavender. Um, this product I have actually not used yet, so can't comment on the rating. Um, but I actually got sent this one by my breeder and she really swears by this product. And as well as I've, I've spoken to his vet and um, they say always get a medical medicated shampoo for Frenchies and for puppies just in case they have some kind of skin allergy or skin issue that you want to kind of treat with the medication. Um, these ones are really good for that. Why? Next, um, I got these PetMD chlor Chlorohexidine Antiseptic Wipes for dogs and cats. These are very similar to grooming wipes. So in between baths, if you want to kind of brush off or kind of scrub off your Frenchie or your puppy in case, you know, they kind of come in contact with something on the grass, um, these wipes are really, really good and I would give this a 10. Next, I will be talking about the Remedy Recovery Professional Groomers Styptic Powder. Um, it's very, very small and it stops bleeding. So in case your Frenchie or your puppy, keep saying Frenchie because I have one. In case your puppy kind of like comes in contact with something and kind of nicks his body or his toe, I think this really helps stop the bleeding. I have personally not um, used it yet, so can't comment on the rating, but I've heard wonderful things and the ratings online are incredible. I also purchased the Shedding Blade. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, he is so excited. So it's the Shedding Blade. Um, this product is really, really cool. So actually a couple of dogs that I follow on Instagram have recommended me this and it's kind of two-sided, a smaller, smaller grooved edge and a bigger grooved edge. And you literally just take, um, at least for him, the smaller grooved edge and you just brush them. So it just like helps get out excess hair and he becomes so calm doing it and I would give this a 11 out of 10 if I could. I love this and he does too, don't you? Good boy. So next, the toothbrush and toothpaste that we use. So he loves this stuff. Oh my gosh. Do you love this? You love this, huh? So it's a toothbrush and a toothpaste that our vet recommended. We brush his teeth every single night as recommended by his vet. So this one is just by Chewy. I think it's like $2. He is going crazy over this. He loves this. This is called the Verbac C3 
CET enzymatic toothpaste and it's in the uh, poultry flavor. So he goes crazy for this. He thinks it's a treat. You can see this right now. I would give this a 10 and I think Blue would too. Right? Speak. Speak. Yes, he gives it a 10 out of 10. Good boy. Good boy. Um, next, it's the vet temp. <laughs> he hates this thing because if you know, you take your dog's temperature rectally. He hates this, but it is necessary in case, you know, your dog is kind of vomiting or you think he's not doing too well health wise, take, take the dog's temperature. Okay. This is, this is really, really good. And you kind of need one in the household because you're not going to be able to just run to the vet every single second of the day. So I really recommend this. We've taken his temperature a couple times. Um, all came out normal, but we wouldn't have known without this product. Next is, okay, so this is not a product for your dog, but I think it is necessary, especially as you're house training your pet. This is the Nature's Miracle Enzymatic Formula Stain and Odor Remover. We got this from Target. Get this, you guys. It is amazing. Um, basically, if they pee or poop in the house, you're going to want to clean the floors and you're gonna want to clean it where they can't smell their business and go again. Cause what I've learned over the past couple of weeks is when they go, they remember where they go and then they're just gonna keep going in that same place. So this really helps remove that odor and they won't know that they went there. Um, and it's really, really good. I would give this a 10 out of 10. Hi huh, baby. For food, I use, he's gonna go crazy right now, the Bill Jack Puppy Select Formula in Chicken. I don't personally love this product. Uh, he loves it because he's a puppy and he will eat anything, but I've actually spoken to the vet and they think this is too rich of a formula, but unfortunately our breeder started him on this formula and it's really, really difficult to kind of wean your puppy off the food that they kind of started on. So I can't wean him off just yet just because he's really young um, as encouraged by my vet and the breeder. So I'm staying on it. But if I could give this a rating, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Not a huge fan just because he regurgitates often after eating this. Even though we split his meals four times a day, I think it's too rich of a formula. So don't really recommend this as much. I would recommend this Zooks. This is one of many I have and I will do another video on this. But um, I recommend to go with Zook's Mini Naturals. So I actually tried to keep Blue on a grain-free diet when it comes to um, treats. Um, I want him to be grain-free, especially corn, wheat, and soy-free, which these are, but they're not grain-free, unfortunately. Um, but he goes crazy for these. Um, I will show you. Sit. 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 Good boy, that's down, but I'll take it. Speak. Good boy. You just freaking swallowed that whole thing. He just gulps it down, that's the problem. Um, he doesn't even like understand what he's eating, he just gulps it. Next, I will be talking about um, the backpack I got him. You don't need this for a Frenchie. I really wanted one um, just because he can't touch the ground yet. He doesn't have all his vaccines. He is being monsty right now. He's trying to eat this orange chew. Mm. So this is the canine sport pack in the size small. Um, struggling a little here. <laughs> It's the K9 Sport Pack in small. I love this thing. Um, he hates it. He would give it a 1 out of 10 if he could. Um, I know a lot of dogs do really well in that, but um, honestly, it's impossible to kind of stay put in my home 24 hours of the day for 8 weeks. I just can't do it. So I got him at 12 weeks, and I think until we can take him out, it'll be like 18, 19 weeks. So... Okay. It's really, really difficult, and I think the backpack is like the best way to go if you need to go somewhere and no one is able to watch them at your house. I think you need a backpack. I would give this a 10 out of 10 just on my personal end, just because it's helped me a lot. Um, but for your dog, I'm not sure if you have a really calm puppy, they might really like it more, but I unfortunately do not have a calm puppy. This is what I am dealing with. <laughs> on a daily basis. So harnesses are essential for your dog. Um, this is 
amazing. So I got this from Frenchie.com, I believe. Um, it's the classic Frenchie brand. Um, any kind of dog can wear this. And I just got him a size small when he's a puppy and I got him a size medium for when he's kind of middle sized, middle grown. Um, so I just put this on him. He seems to really like it. It doesn't cause any problems. You can adjust the straps in the back. And again, I will link this in the description. I would give that 10 out of 10, by the way. A leash, I got him also by the same company, Frenchie. So they come in such cute uh, prints. This one came in this print and it's reversible. Um, and you just attach it onto your harness. And um, he seems to really love playing with it like it's a toy. Unfortunately, it is not a toy. They come with really, really cute um, prints online and they have kind of seasons. So they have fall, winter, Halloween. Um, this I just got for a year round leash, so I won't need to keep changing them. But I would give this a 10 out of 10 and he would too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, really hope that you found this video helpful for your Frenchie or your puppy. Um, these are the things that again worked for me and for Blue. These are the things that I found necessary that you will probably need for your puppy um, before you get him. So with that, we will see you guys in our next video. Say bye, Blue. Speak it. Good boy. Bye, everyone. See you next time. We wanted <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, blue. There's a little puppy divider in there and <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs>